In this presentation, we will process payroll that will include health insurance, which is paid by the employer, and then we will compare and contrast the payroll processed here with prior payrolls before we had health insurance, but did have insurance related to dental and insurance related to vision that was paid by the employee, both before tax and one after tax within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We've got the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're going to be here and run payroll once again. Another month has passed, another payroll to process, and this time we have the health insurance. We will do so by selecting pay employees we are in the paid payroll so we have this screen we're in the third tab we're in the first tab here if you're using the manual payroll then the next screen should look much the same this is the paid version we're going to go into the pay employees section here and run the next payroll the next payroll will be ran as of the pay period end because we're doing this every month uh, june 30th 2018 we're going to process the paycheck the next day, 070118. So that's going to be our, this is just, we're going month month at a time. This is the pay period in for the month ended, 0630, and paid on July 7, 1, 2018, the year we are running on. We're going to check off Anthony once again, our one employee. We're going to select Anthony here so we can see what is going on with Anthony. We see that the uh, the amounts up top will remain the same and that the gross pay is going to be the same because we have the same amount of hours and the same amount of overtime. We got the 401k here. So this is an item on this side. It's being deducted from the check because this is the employee portion. The employer portion we see is on this side because it's going to be paid over and above the gross pay. The dental insurance, which was taxable, we had here, it was taken out of the check, not, however, reducing the check for the calculation of the uh, federal withholdings. The vision, we saw that it did come out of the check here, and the difference between these two, taxable and untaxable, that's being paid by the employee, is that this vision reduced both or all the federal withholding amount the Social Security, and the Medicare. So these these taxes were affected by this vision because we set it up as pre-tax and paid by the employee. What we have now, of course, is the insurance that's going to be paid by the employer. I'm going to scroll down a bit. That's the 110 on this side. Notice we don't see that 110 over here at all. Where we see it is on this side. We see it over here as company paying it. So in other words, the company is paying this over and above the gross pay that's going to be reported, meaning the gross pay on this side is still just these two amounts. The employer is really paying the employee more than that. It's paying, they're paying the employee another 110 by paying their health insurance. So the 110 is going, but it's not going to be included on the W-2. It's not included over here at all. It's included as if it's similar to the, to the employer portion of the Social Security and Medicare. So we're paying over and above what's going to be reported on the W-2s. So that's going to be the difference. So if it, if it was employee uh, made, then it would be listed in the other items and then be on this side where we would have the, like we have the 401k and then the dental and then the vision, taxable versus untaxable. This 25 being pre-tax means that although it's reported over here and take it out of, of the check, it's also going to be reducing the amount of taxes that are going to have to be paid. In this case, both for all three, federal, Social Security, and Medicare, as opposed to the 401k, which is only reducing the, the uh, federal withholding, not Social Security and Medicare. This amount over here is, 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 in terms of the health insurance, isn't going to be included in the gross pay at all. And therefore, no taxes will be paid on it. However, it's a little deceiving when we see it because... It won't be included in, in the W-2 lines or it won't be included in the gross pay line. So let's process then this and see what the pay stub will look like for this. We note that the, the matching side is still over here for the 401k. We've got the health insurance for the company now on this side. 
Social Security and the Medicare, which are going to be matched. Those will always basically be the same unless something strange is going on. Normally they'll be the same. And then we've got the federal and uh, FUTA and SUTA, which are zero because the caps have been reached. So we'll say save and close. And we're going to go ahead. It looks Everything looks proper. So we're going to say, okay, let's process this. We're going to continue. And then we'll create the paychecks. So I'm going to create the paychecks and then take a look at the pay stub. And we'll preview. This is what we would have to give to the employee. This is the current paycheck that we have here. And this is the year to date numbers that we have. And if we go through this, we can see now that the, the amounts that are going to basically be reduced for the taxes are going to be the 401k uh, employee and the vision. These are going to be reducing taxes for the taxes for the FIT tax. And then the dental down here, uh, the dental insurance is not going to be reducing taxes because of that difference we made. And then the health insurance now is being grouped on this side. It's being grouped on this side because it's being paid by the employer. So this side is basically saying, hey, these are the amounts that are being paid over and above what's being reported as gross pay. They're not really in gross pay at all, even though the employee is receiving them. They're getting them. This is being received by employee over and above because remember the gross pay is really there to help report taxes so the, these are good huge benefits to them because of course they're benefiting them and not being included in gross pay and therefore not being included with the tax calculations so we'll close this out now we're going to close this out we're going to close this out we'll go ahead and check our checking account in the register go into the banking drop down and use register going to go to the checking account here we're going to just check there is our check we can see the differences in the pay that uh, the pay date notice there's no difference between these two because of course it was paid by the employer and it didn't affect any of the other uh, taxes because it, it wasn't in gross pay or and therefore not in any calculation for the taxes if we double click on this item then we'll get to our paycheck and we double if we click here we get to our back to our payroll information Next time we're going to run uh, the reports and we'll take a look at the 940s, the W2s and um, see what the difference are in the 941 and the W2 and see if there's any differences from the prior paycheck if we were to run them as of now. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.